It's Basic Skills Day, and it's all about chef knives for beginners. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, it's Chef Knives for Beginners. Let's get started. I have some chef knives here. A chef knife is the workhorse of your kitchen. It's an all-purpose knife. You can use it for chopping and slicing and dicing and everything in between. Now there are some pretty common sizes. I have three here to show you. The first is a six inch chef's knife. It's kind of short. It's usually preferred by people with smaller hands. It's kind of a tiny little thing, but it's still a workhorse. Next is the most common an eight inch chef's knife. You can see the difference between the two. The eight inch is probably what you have in your kitchen or what you should have in your kitchen. Next, I have a 10 inch and again, you can see the difference. 10 inches and sometimes a little larger, you mostly use by professional chefs who are cooking for 12, 14 hours a day. You probably won't have that in your kitchen, at least not right now. So let's talk about how to grip a knife. We're gonna use the pinch and grip method. This method works whether it's a chef's knife or a paring knife or a utility knife, whatever. Pinch, forefinger and thumb right here, and then you wrap your fingers around the handle. Now, you probably hold it back here, maybe put your finger up. That does not give you any control. But when you pinch here, and then wrap your fingers around, you're closer to the center of gravity and you have better control. Think of it if you ever played softball or baseball as a kid and the coach told you to choke up on the bat, that's exactly what we're doing here. So you have better control. Easy. Now let's talk about how do you use a chef's knife? I'm gonna show you a couple different ways. These are basic techniques, but they're the foundation we're doing all kinds of other chopping and dicing and, and fancy little things, whether it's a chiffonade or making batons or matchsticks or whatever. The first I like to call the flat hand. This is just for rough chopping, mostly for parsley, other herbs. Pinch and grip, pinch, grip. This hand on top. Now you want, there's a curve to the blade, like this, follow the blade, let the blade do the work. If your knives are sharp, they're gonna do all the work. Flat hand here, and you're just going to do this. And move it back and forth a little bit, and that's going to chop up these herbs. So here I have some basil leaves, and I'll show you how easy it is. Right through. Now, this is a very rough chop. Once you get good at this, you can go faster and faster. Just turn around a bit, go this way. This is perfect for things that you don't need precise cuts, chopping knives, things like that. Now, chopping knives, chopping nuts, silly. So, well, you see it on TV a lot. Chef takes their knife, puts their hand down, scoops the stuff up, don't do that. Ever, don't do that ever, ever, ever. What's gonna happen? That blade's gonna slip, it's gonna go right into your hand. Not good. Use a bench scraper, nice dull edge, and look, look at this. All done, no cut, see that? Easy peasy. Okay, now, the most important technique is the claw. What does that mean? Let's start with a piece of celery. It's always a good place to practice. Why? It has a flat side and it has a round side. A little common sense, guys. Are you gonna cut it like this, what's rocking back and forth? Of course not. Flat side down, nice and stable. Pinch grip, pinch here, wrap around. So what do you do now? You just start hacking? No. You take this hand, you make a claw, tuck that thumb in. You're gonna start up here, the knuckle, these knuckles, on your knife. 
that's going to act as a guide. Same motion as before, tip down, rock it along the shape of the blade. The knuckle will help guide you because you're not lifting the blade up so high, you just need to guide it. And you're gonna use this hand to help advance the celery through the knife, just like this. Easy, slowly. What does that do for you? It keeps your fingers safe and it gives you pretty precise cuts. Now, you can practice, you'll get really fast. So let's just keep going on this, right? Claw in, back and forth, just like that. So what happens when you get down to a little stub of celery like this? Same method, little tweet. You're gonna take your claw hand, thumb in, you're gonna put that thumb all the way at the back. Before you had it here on the side, like that, all the way in the back. Same motion, but as you're cutting, you're gonna use that thumb to push that celery up. And everything, all your little fingers stay safe. That's the most important thing. Again, motion of the ocean, back and forth. See how easy that is? And then you get down this last little bit, you just be very careful and cut it and you're done. That is some basic knife skills for you to learn and practice. So I highly recommend getting a couple heads of celery, practice, practice, practice. As always, we'll see you Tuesdays at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 7 p.m. And remember, if you like our episodes, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every week. And remember, you're all invited, as always, to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers.